So hello and welcome to this video that is a quick exploration of the differences between the Waveplane Oscillator and the WTF Oscillator from Dove Audio. Now there's been a few comments that people aren't quite sure of the differences between the two oscillators. So I thought let's make a quick video explaining the difference between the two modules and ultimately these are two digital oscillators from Dove Audio giving you different ways to work with wavetables. And both of them might result in things that are tonally quite different because of the approach is two wavetables that the Waveplane and the WTF offer. So I'll start with the Waveplane. This is my output. It's four different wavetables with a selectable wave on each corner and an X and a Y to scan. Now zoom in, you should be able to see that little dot on the screen. Scan around these four chosen waveforms. Now these can be modulated. So take this bottom one for example, it has modulation inputs, but this can be any wavetable and this is all smooth morphing. So if we didn't want to modulate these waves, we could choose four static ones. Move over to this side. Go up. Up top left. And then use the X and Y, and this has modulation inputs to actually move between this chosen space. Now kind of centering this out, we can invert either the bottom two waves or the right hand waves. And of course, depending on the waves chosen, this inversion will give you quite different results. Now the WTF oscillator gives you two choosable wavetables a front, let's say a saw, and as we move over on the width, again, we can choose, let's say that waveform. And what the WTF does is kind of pull open a window. If you imagine some shutters opening, with a front waveform in front of the shutters, and then as you pull it open, the rear waveform comes through. Just to quickly go through what's on screen, the red wavetable, and again I'll zoom in, is the front one, matching up with the knobs. The white is the actual output wave, and the blue is the rear wave. And we're kind of pulling open this window transform function. Like I said, imagine you're pulling in some shutters almost like weirdly pulsive modulate between one wave to the other. Now just to pick some simple shapes, let's say triangle and saw, we can set a dual window, so instead of splitting from the middle, you can split from two points, you can invert the rear wave, notice that inversion, again with either single or dual points. You can change the rear wave to be a static DC voltage, giving very PWM-like effects. And again, this works over all the wavetables. Or we can use noise, where this becomes the rate of the noise. with single or dual windows so hopefully that's made it a bit clearer the wave plane one last time four selectable wave tables that you can modulate or leave static and an xy position to scan around them like vector synthesis 
the WTF, a front and a rear wave. You can also modulate these with attenuators as well, and a width control that kind of pulls open a window between that front and rear wave, and options to invert and flip and DC one of the waves and turn it into noise. Both different and quite unique ways to work with wave tables. Now the wave plane is still on Kickstarter. Paula from Dove Audio has lent me this oscillator. I said I'd just make a couple of videos and I wanted to have a play around with it. So let's just make a little patch with the wave plane as well. Cheers for watching. Support me on Patreon if you like the work I do. If you have other questions or comments, leave them in the description. Link in the description to the Kickstarter. Hope that's been useful for those of you that had questions. Cheers for watching. <laughs>